What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Well, We back with another one. So, like we seen yesterday, ESBC just released some new um, exclusive gameplay for the content creators that are making content on the game. Um, I had a lot of thoughts about it. I got that breakdown video coming up soon. Uh, probably later today, probably tomorrow, more than likely, right? One thing that kind of made me think for a minute and I kind of got some backlash. I got a little heat from it from my from the from the from the Twitter group. But it needs to be said. I was so impressed with the ESBC gameplay yesterday. And I'm gonna go through and break it down. I don't think it's perfect. It has some things. I have a few gripes about it. But honestly, would y'all be okay if you know they made a few tweaks here there? And they released the game without a career mode. I know career mode is blasphemous. Woke, what are you saying? We need career mode. That's crucial. Look, when I play the game, I play sports games almost exclusively. I like shooters, but primarily sports games. I play sports games for real life authenticity. I like replicating what I see on TV, on the game. I love the skill and the strategy of the sport using the players and teams that I actually watch. I like using real life tendencies on the game to win. Strategy, it's like chess, right? That's why I like sports video games. I don't play sports video games to imagine myself as a pro boxer i'm sorry like when i was younger i did it was cool then i don't get thrills i don't get up by over here let me go make my my, my guy 6'4 260 pounds with 80 inch arms and i'm about to go beat up you know mike tyson and you know george foreman in career mode like that doesn't what does that do for me? I don't really care about that. So when I'm playing games, and this is why I made my previous video about how I was a little worried about ESBC is, hey man, uh, we gotta make sure these games are actually good at what they're supposed to do first. If the game, first off, let me just name it right now. Does the game look like real life? The visuals, that means uh, scoreboards, arenas, the fighters or player models. Are they on point? Are the accessories on point? Skin tones, textures, that kind of stuff. I want to see what I'm seeing in real life, right? The graphics have improved so much that we can actually get great graphical representations. Dang near what we see on TV. That's first to me. Does it look like real life? Secondly, does it play like real life is it a sim representation of the sports that we actually enjoy watching if the gameplay is not sim what's the point like if the that's why madden is bad that's why fifa is not good right that's why ufc series is not good the gameplay is bad even if the game looks like real life fifa looks like real life it, it looks pretty nice i ain't gonna lie Madden still looks pretty bad. Uh, what else? UFC. Some player, some fighter models look good. Some look bad. But all three of them have bad gameplay. It doesn't replicate their actual sport. You can get away with a little graphical differences here and there if the gameplay is on point. But it's sometimes graphics good. It's hit or miss. But then the gameplay isn't good either. It's a no go. But then on top of that, right, since you're dealing with real people here, real teams, do the fighters and the players actually mimic the real life counterparts, right? When I play with Muhammad Ali in the game, does he move like Muhammad Ali? When I pick, um, for instance, let, I pick LeBron James in NBA 2K. 2K's falling into this trap too, sadly. Their gameplay is, is better than FIFA and Madden and EA, but it's still not good. It's getting repetitive. It looks great, though. I'll give them that. The arena and crowd are great, but 
it doesn't necessarily play like it. Well, hey, when we pick Cristiano Ronaldo or Kylian Mbappe in FIFA, do they move like the real life counterparts? That matters to me. A guy like me, I go spend hours in the edit section, changing fighters and players gear. I wanna see what I see on TV. I want the gear to be right. I want the body proportions to be right. That's what I wanna see. I wanna replicate real life on my screen. So once I do that, I wanna now go into an immersive environment where I can actually replicate what I'm seeing. Again, I keep saying the same thing. It's about the strategy and the skill used in the game I enjoy watching. Career mode doesn't move me. So the question is, it's not gonna be too long of a video. Would you be okay if ESBC was released earlier, but career mode was patched into the game later or came in a big update maybe a month or two after the game? In my opinion, I would. I'm okay with a earlier release date. They clean up some of the gameplay. They can focus on gameplay and focus on getting more exclusive fighters because ultimately we need names, right? And we want the gameplay to be on point. All the other trinkets, the little other modes, the, the, the mud modes and the, the, the builder bear, creative fighter, career mode. Look, man, that could come later. In my opinion, as long as the game ships, give me as most exclusive big name fighters as possible. Give me some great gameplay, great visuals, great fighters acting like themselves. I'm gonna play the game forever. Give me one mode. Make sure I have off offline head to head. Well, I guess there's more than one, but offline head to head, online head to head. Give me an event mode. That's it. That's all I need right now from the SBC. So. Hey, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all okay if ESBC ships earlier without career mode right now, but then it gets updated later? Or would you rather it all ship together perfectly one solid game, but later? Let me put it to you this way. If Steel City ran a poll right now and said, hey, we could drop ESBC in July. But it'll be the gameplay will be perfect. We'll have all the fighters that we want in scan and mocap. <laughs> but it would only be online, offline, head to head, and event mode. You get it in July, or we can wait till October, or November to drop for the full game. What would you choose? Let me know in the comments. Once again, I appreciate y'all. We got more videos coming soon. Go check out the other video while I was kind of worried about ESBC. I'm still a little worried. I love the game, it's not the gameplay, but it's a few things that I'm seeing. Just check it out, check that video out, check my reaction of the gameplay we just seen, and the breakdown of that gameplay is coming soon. So like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate y'all. Shalom, salute.